Noblesse is a webtoon written by Sun J. Ho and illustrated by Lee Guang Su. Started on December 30, 2007, this webtoon main was released on Naver and is still publishing. Plot Noblesse is about a powerful noble, Cardi Zatrama D. Razel, who has been asleep for 820 years with no knowledge of mankind's advancement and scientific successes. He has recently woken up in an abandoned building in South Korea, and is starting to get used to the modern world. He goes to a school where he meets his loyal servant Frankenstein. With Frankenstein's help, re enrolls into Yiran High School, and inadvertently befriends Shin Wu, an athletic teenager, Ik Han, a computer geek, Yuna, Shin Wu's crush, and a few others. Noblesse follows the group's often dangerous adventures against a secret organization while uncovering Ray's past. Characters equals Main characters equals, Cardi's a trauma D. Razel, Ray is a very charming, elegant, and mysterious noble. He has no knowledge whatsoever of the 21st century, and will often become lost and confused especially with regards to modern-day technology. He is often used as the main's comic relief with his love of Raman, the errors he makes with technology, and his terrible sense of direction. He had fallen into a deep slumber for 820 years, and had woken up in an abandoned building in South Korea. After seeing what most of the humans on the streets were wearing, Ray took on the uniform of a student from Yiran High School, which is under the administration of Frankenstein, and inadvertently followed the students there. He currently resides with Frankenstein. He is shown to be extremely powerful with the ability of mind control, along with a technique called blood field. Although he seems cold and apathetic on the outside, Ri has shown compassion towards human beings, though it is not known whether this is due to actual compassion or merely a sense of duty. Ri is extremely handsome and possesses a youthful appearance, scarlet red eyes, beautiful jet black hair and a quiet disposition and he is usually seen wearing the Yiran high school uniform and a silver cross earring on his left ear. It seems that if Ri uses his powers extensively, his overall health and well-being deteriorates, as seen after the battle with the D5, although Ri said that it was nothing to worry about. Nevertheless, Frankenstein knows that his master needs time to fully recover his old strength. However, as said by Regis, even in his current state Ri possesses an enormous power comparable if not superior to that of the current Lord. During the confrontation between him and the Lord, Ri has shown superiority over the Lord. Ri demonstrates his absolute governance over blood by creating powerful blood fields with perfect form without the use of an apparent soul weapon. Jejuk, an ancient advisor to Lord, explains that Ri's soul weapon does not materialize as a weapon. Ray's blood and soul is his sole weapon. Noblesse is the title of a single noble, and was later adopted by nobles as the name of their race. In their society there are two beings who are held in high esteem, one is the lords who rules with authority, and one is the noblesse, with strength above all others, who watches over and protects the nobles. The previous lord left his sole weapon in the shrine of Riyajar as a gift. Ri is shown to have relinquished his ownership of Ragnarok so that the current lord can complete her sole weapon Ragnarok. Ri's power consumes his life force when used. Frankenstein finally gets Ri to take a short hibernation, but as soon as he wakes up, he uses a great amount of power. Frankenstein Frankenstein is Ri's devoted servant. He supports Ri wholeheartedly and calls him master. He had tried searching for his master after Re disappeared and eventually went into seclusion to search for Re privately. Frankenstein is the principal director of Yi Ran High School, which he made so that if Re should return, Re would be able to live a normal life. He was stunned to find Re in his school office after Re had woken up and assumed the uniform of the school students. Frankenstein is immensely powerful. When he caused a disturbance in the world, the previous lord sent two clan leaders to capture him. Frankenstein is the only human to be acknowledged by the previous lord because he exceeded human limitations and acquired power by his own means. Later however his powers had been sealed away by Ray due to misdeeds committed in pursuit of scientific knowledge and power. Frankenstein is a very cheerful person, but becomes quite serious and calculating when the situation calls for it although during battles Frankenstein has shown a sadistic side. 
he is extremely organized and loathes messiness. Like Ray, he is very compassionate towards human beings, especially the students in his school. Frankenstein is an impressive scientist, who has researched human modification. All the research done was recorded down in his diaries, however one diary is now in the possession of Dr. Cromwell and another in possession of the Union. His research is responsible for many of the advances humans made with modification. He was very familiar with the previous Lord, whom he calls Old Bugger. Frankenstein is actually human. Although it has not yet been explicitly stated, it is most likely he experimented upon himself to attain the strength that he has now. Frankenstein has possession of Dark Spear, a human created weapon similar to a noble soul weapon. Han Shin Wu Shin Wu is an energetic and athletic teenager with bright red hair. He is always seen with a bandage over the bridge of his nose. He is well known within the city to be skilled in martial arts and feared by gangs. He is on par at fighting the top level trained agents of the Union, those who have not been transformed. He fights the infected guy and causes very serious damage to him while receiving no significant damage from him. Shin Wu is often shown sleeping in class and slacking off. Though he is shown as a lazy student, he is very courageous and would protect his friends at all costs. Shin Wu is shown to be popular among the student body of Yeren Hai and other school due to his superior fighting skills. At beginning of Volume 4, he was scouted by KSA to become modified human because of the very reason. Shin Wu is hinted to have feelings towards Sayura, who displays favor for him. Wu Ikhan, Ikhan is Shin Wu and Yuna's childhood friend. He is extremely skilled in technology, especially computers and games. He has been shown in the series to be a highly skilled hacker. Ikhan has short brown hair and glasses and is 157 centimeters tall. He has a height complex, being so short, but has found some comfort in meeting Regis, who is about the same height. Initially thought to display signs of attraction towards Sierra J. Loyard, however it is later revealed that Ikhan has interests in Regis because of his small body. Su Yuna, Yuna is Shin Wu and Ikhan's childhood friend. Yuna rejected Shin Wu when he confessed to her two years ago. Yuna accidentally becomes the target of the infected guy when their paths cross one night. Yuna is a friendly, ordinary and sensible young woman, demonstrably more level-headed than her friends, who tends to sedately sit out, be amused by and often remind them of the mundane reality behind their dramatics. When she and Ri are introduced to video games, she apparently is quite competent despite it being her first try. It has been hinted that she is a crush on M21 after he becomes a guard at her high school. Yim Su, Su is a pretty popular pop idol who is studying at Yuran High School. She first appeared in Chapter 94 of the series. She returned to school after doing her concert. Su is friends with Ik Han, Shin Wu and Yuna. She is always shown hanging out with the group. She later joined Shin Wu and the others in visiting Frankenstein's house regularly. Equals nobles slash noblesse equals, nobles are a race of nearly immortal, elegant and powerful people that guard humans against predators since ancient times, due to their inability to ignore the slaughter of the weak, helpless humans. Noblesse was the title given to only one person, but the nobles adopted it as the name they use for their race some time after re-entered into his long sleep. Pure blood nobles seem to share a common power of mind control and crimson red eyes. In the series, the concept that we know of as noblesse oblige historically stems from the behavior of the noblesse, who protected the weak. People from the Union have thought noblesse to be beings at the top of the race of the vampires. It is later known that vampires are created through nobles' consumption of human blood. Regis K. Landak Re, Regis is a noble, like Re, Jejutland Salira. Regis cares greatly about elegance and judges everyone by their amount of elegance. He has brushed back short silver hair with black stripes at the temple, and is often seen with Sierra J. Loyard. Regis has an extremely haughty attitude and initially looked down on the modified humans allied with Frankenstein. He follows the noble's code of honor and does his best at all times to protect the humans from harm. Regis truly respects Re, and finds him more elegant than anyone. It is mentioned that he is 199 years old. 
As part of his preparation for his coming of age ceremony, Regis has left Lucadonia and visited the human world to gain experience. Celera J. Loyard, Celera is a noble who is the last remaining blood descendant of the House of Loyard. Celera uses a death scythe as her sole weapon, which proves her position as the head of the House of Loyard. Frankenstein mentions that the myths of death seen carrying a scythe originate from this particular weapon. Celera's character is rather quiet and shy, and blushes when complimented. She has long silver hair and the same scarlet eyes shared by other high class nobles. Celera acts as guide and guardian to Regis K. Landegri in his preparation for his coming of age ceremony. She learns to cook very rapidly and soon comes to make the meals in Frankenstein's house, with the exception of ramen which is Frankenstein's project for his master. It is mentioned she is 217 years old. She has many admirers such as Rail, Yuri, and Shin Wu and it is shown that she may have some feelings for Shin Wu. Jejet K. Landegri, Jejet is a noble, like Re, Regis and Sanira. He is Regis' grandfather and has the same sense of honor that Regis possesses, testing Regis on the issue of protecting humans. He seems to be on tense terms with Frankenstein. Not much is known about him except the fact that he is head of the House of Landagri, and that he is the only known clan leader who served the previous lord. He was given the task to guide the lord in order to lessen the confusion when the previous lord and previous clan leaders enter eternal sleep. After meeting Rhi and Frankenstein he withholds information from the Lord because Rhi does not wish his location to be known. Because of this the Lord sentences him to a forced eternal sleep, the noble equivalent of an execution, for treason. The Lord, the Lord, Raskri, is a female noble who is the leader of the current noble society, and her position is ruler of the world. Note that eventually her name will become lost in time and she will be known only as Lord, for this is what happened to her predecessors. There appears to be customs that bind Lord's political power, but she seems powerful enough to set new precedents if she desires it. She is apparently blood related to the previous Lord and loathes Re, claiming that he was the one who led the betrayal against herself and the previous Lord. She was prepared to sentence Jejertl to eternal sleep for treason. However after facing Re and receiving Ragnarok from him discovering that Re has been asleep for 820 years, she realizes that he could not have been involved in the betrayal. The previous lord and those loyal to him chose to enter into eternal sleep and thus allow greater freedom and opportunity for change for the young generation of nobles, who now live in a world where humanity no longer needs protection as it is capable of protecting itself. During the Lucadonia Arcade the lack of confidence suffered by the Lord and her hatred of Rhea is dispelled after the true intentions of the previous Lord are explained. He did not want his precious daughter to suffer the hardships that come with the position of Lord. After deciding she is not ready to complete Ragnarok, another message of the previous Lord is revealed, containing fatherly advice and words of support for his daughter, thus giving her a sense of resolution and closure regarding unsettled issues she had with her father. Lazark Kersha Rajak is the head of the House of Kersha. His sole weapon, cutters, takes the form of two daggers. The Kersha clan specializes in speed and stealth. Assassins. Very loyal to Lord. He subdued his younger brother, Rail during Rail's destructive rage, ten years prior to his awakening. Rail Kersha, Rail is the ambitious younger brother of Lazar Kersha. Their father allowed a portion of his sole weapon to be inherited by Rail despite not being the head of House of Kersha. Rail can manifest this incomplete sole weapon as a pair of daggers named Grandia. Rail proposed marriage to Salira, was rejected, and flew into a destructive rage. Rail's tantrum slash rampage was stopped by his brother and he imprisoned for ten years for this transgression. Frankenstein sensed that Rail had a sole weapon and urged him to use it in their fight. Therefore Frankenstein felt justified in using Dark Spear. Rail mysteriously disappears after Chapter 193, however he re-emerged after the battle between RK5 and Euro's group. Later on it is shown that he truly cares for Sanira. Previous Lord The previous Lord chose to enter into eternal sleep 320 years after Re went missing. In ancient times, the previous Lord had given Re a gift of two silver crosses, one of which we wears as an earring. 
the previous lord seemed quite keen on making Rhi the next lord, which Rhi would constantly decline. When Rhi disappeared, the previous lord gave orders for all nobles to search for Rhi. However, Rhi was not found. Wanting to see Rhi before entering into eternal sleep, the previous lord devised a plan to at least pass on his message to Rhi by hiding Ragnarok and messages in Rhi's shrine, and messages in his own shrine. Regarding Ragnarok left in his shrine, Rhi said, the lord has left a troublesome thing behind. The lord's sole weapon, in the shape of a beautiful decorated sword, is supposed to be so powerful that humans equate it with the end of the world. From what little is shown of his personality, the Lord seemed to have had an easy-going personality, at least compared the current Lord. The previous Lord along with the previous clan leaders voluntarily entered eternal sleep to allow greater freedom and opportunity for change for the younger generation of nobles. It is shown that he cares a great deal for his daughter not wanting her to take the mantle of Lord due to the heavy burden it carries and left her a personal message giving her typical fatherly advice on boys and acknowledging that she will be fine as Lord. The previous Lord left an incomplete Ragnarok to Rhi simply because he wanted Rhi to become the Lord rather than continue his role as noblesse since the fate and burden of being the noblesse is much greater when compared to being the Lord. Ludis Murgas Ludis is one of the seven loyal clan leaders. His sole weapon is called Izarok and takes the form of a scimitar and shield. He is the head of the central order and the shield of the Lord. Defending seems to be his speciality, although he has shown considerable strength when he single-handedly destroyed the Eighth Fleet of the Union during its invasion of Leucadonia. He is short and his hair covers his right eye. He is the smallest of the clan leaders. K. K is one of the seven loyal clan leaders. He is said to be the strongest of the clan leaders, and his sole weapon takes the form of twin gauntlets. His appearance is that of a scarred and muscular man with white hair. Rosaria, Rosaria is one of the only two female clan leaders, the other one being Sneera. She is very powerful as she defeated Sneera during the Lucidonian arc. She is close to Sneera as she has told Sneera to call her a knee. Her sole weapon is called Blood Witch and it takes the form of a staff with a gigantic red eyeball on top. Her appearance is that of a red head with glasses, with her hair being tied up into a ponytail. Equals werewolves equals, long ago, werewolves were one of the dominating species on the planet. However they have always been even fewer in number than the nobles and lacked the mind control ability. Because they could not wipe human memories, they had to hide themselves very carefully. That's why their existence remains hidden. Werewolves are warlike and have superior regenerative powers. Their strength rivaled that of the nobles. They are said to be equal to nobles in terms of power with the exceptions of their high regeneration and the nobles' mind control. Equals modified humans experiments equals, modified humans are humans who were experimented on by the Union in order to gain more power, usually without their consent. Successful experiments are usually much more powerful and stable than failed experiments. Failed experiments are often disposed of. Failed experiments still generate useful data that is used to prevent similar failures in the next generation of experiments. Thus newer experiments are generally more stable, powerful and successful. These modified humans are shown to be much more powerful than a normal human being. The successful high-level experiments have the ability to transform their bodies, which increases their power even further. M series of experiments were considered to be failures, although the data gleaned from them was used as a basis for the next generation of experiments. M21, M21 is from the M series of experiments conducted by Dr. Cromwell, a Union scientist. He is designated as the 21st of 100 in that batch. He was classified as a failed experiment, and took the lowest ranking agent position in the Union along with M24. M21 and M24 were the last survivors of the M series. When introduced, M21 was shown to be a cold-hearted, rebellious experiment that often looked for trouble to ease his boredom. He began developing the ability to transform his physical shape which he kept a secret from the Union, as they would undoubtedly continue their experiments on him. M21 and M24 had made it their goal to discover the identities of themselves and the other M-series test subjects, 
as they have no memories before waking up in the Union Lab. After M24 died defending Shin Wu and his friends from Jake, M21 moved in with Frankenstein and Re. Re assists M21 by briefly allowing him to glimpse his own true powers, telling M21 that he must not underestimate the origin of his powers. He then took up the position as a special security guard in the school that Frankenstein runs. Eventually, he makes peace with the death of M24, letting go of his goal to discover their true identities in favor of protecting Shin Wu and his friends from the Union. Thanks to Tao, M21 discovers that his defection from the Union was never reported by Cromwell, and all the data regarding the test subject's identities had been destroyed recently after lying untouched for so long. Cromwell orders the data purge when he discovers that M21 and M24 may not have been complete failures as experiments in order to keep other scientists from using their data. During a health checkup, Frankenstein reveals that M21 had been quite different from his fellow M series subjects. M21 had extensive gene modification and had been implanted with the heart of a werewolf, a species nearly as powerful but far more obscure than the nobles. M24 M24 is a rather large and bulky guy who was part of the M series of Union experiments. He is considered to be a failed experiment, though he had developed the unique ability of low-level mind control as a side effect of the experiment done on him. Though seen as a heartless and cruel at the beginning of the series, M24 was shown to be compassionate and caring towards humans, especially kids, later in the series. M24 and M21 share a very close relationship as they were the only two remaining from their group. They share the same dream of finding their comrades' names. He is later thought to have been killed by Jake, attempting to buy some time for Shen Wu and his friends to escape. In Season 5, a revived M24 reappears however it is revealed he is in fact an imposter, he is really another modified human named Mark. Mary Mary was one of the first female experiments seen in the series. She often serves as the bodyguard of Dr. Cromwell. She and Jake are part of the assassination unit of the Union. Mary is implied to be more powerful, which means she held a higher rank and commanding power than Jake. However, it is mentioned by Dar 5 that she was one of the weakest members of the assassination unit. She has been shown to have the ability to transform her arms which gives her an immense amount of speed and strength. Mary is quiet and adheres to the mission, declining to take any actions outside of her strict orders. She reprimands Jake, who is afraid of her, when he is insolent to Dr. Cromwell. She is killed by Frankenstein in the battle to save Shin Wu and his friends. Jake, Jake is one of the most powerful successful experiments created by Dr. Cromwell. He is Mary's partner. The two of them are part of the assassination unit of the Union. Jake is usually egotistical and extremely aggressive, which gets him scolded by Mary. Jake fears Mary only because she seems to have more power than him. He loathes being experimented on, but wants more power. Jake swore to take revenge on Mary and Dr. Cromwell, who always looks down upon him. Jake has been shown to have the ability to transform which gives him an even greater amount of speed and strength. He thinks very little of failed experiments such as M21 and M24, and makes it a personal goal to get them trashed by the Union. After being severely injured by Frankenstein, he forces Union scientists to conduct another experiment upon him, without Cromwell's knowledge, in order to gain more power. He uses a final, massive transformation against Re, who still defeats him easily. Now Yonsu and Nsanjin, they are a husband and wife team of enhanced humans. Unlike the Union experimental subjects, they volunteered to be enhanced in a KSA medical experiment that was kept secret from the Union and most of the KSA. Their experiment is successful in that they are able to blend in with civilians and mask their enhanced powers to avoid detection. They are assigned the task of gathering information on possible new recruit candidates Shin Wu and Ikan. However they quickly come into conflict with M21, Tao and Takeo after the latter three caught them commissioning men to attack Shin Wu in an attempt to judge his fighting abilities. Now Yonsu is quite short-tempered and patriotic. Sometimes prioritizes national security over individual rights slash safety, causing her to make morally questionable choices. 
and Sanjin is more even-tempered, but still a risk-taker. For instance he makes an alliance with M21, Tao and Takeo even though it would be hazardous for both parties. Equals Da 5 equals, the Da 5 were created by Dr. Arith. Their mission is to eliminate groups opposing the Union. Unlike the assassin team which works covertly, the special forces team focuses massacring enemy forces completely and very publicly to set examples of what happened to people if they oppose the Union. They enhance themselves by the drug called D, which unknown to them, can eventually shave years off their life. The Da 5 has five members each with specialized weapons. The members of the Da 5 are Krintz, Tao, Takeo, Hammer and Shark. Krintz, Krintz is the leader of Da 5. He hates dealing with lower-ranking experiments. He is able to maintain leadership and control over Da 5 because he is stronger than the rest of Da 5 altogether. They respect and fear Krintz. Late in the fight of the members of Da 5, it is shown that Krintz can absorb the powers of the other members of Da 5 and that the gain to his powers are enhanced if the members take the pill D. He first drains the power of Shark when it appears that he cannot defeat Rhea alone. He then attempts to drain Tao's powers but it can begs Rei to save Tao which Rei does. He is last shown being defeated by Rei. Tao, Tao is a 24-year-old computer genius that excels in hacking. He has admitted to being lonely due to no one else understanding him and his love for anything computer related. This is the reason why he has found comfort in finding someone like it can, who is like very much like him. He is frail in appearance and hasn't been shown to demonstrate any kind of physical strength like the rest of the members did, although it was known that Tao easily defeated Jake before Jake's modification. While Tao's strength does not seem to be above normal human standards, he has been shown to have quick reflexes and athletic ability and uses cables as his weapons. Supposedly designed to maximize team efficiency, not to eliminate his opponents. He is one of the less cold-hearted members of the Da 5 group. After betraying the Da 5 unit, he is now living in Frankenstein's house with Takeo and M21. Takeo, Takeo is a tall, purple-haired man, who uses a large sniper gun that is carried in a massive gun case. The Union is holding his sister hostage. Thus, forcing Takeo to work with the Da 5. Takeo cares about humans, especially little kids because they remind him of his sister. He demonstrates his softer nature by giving M21 water when M21 is imprisoned by the members of Da 5. He likes to get himself involved with normal citizens even though it is against the Union's rules. Takeo seems to be a good-natured person and only does what he has to in order to keep his sister safe from the Union. Takeo later moves in with those living in Frankenstein's house, after betraying the Union, who now believe him to be dead. Shark, he is a brutal, cruel and heartless experiment. He loves to kill people for his own amusement and takes any opportunity to do so. He is extremely haughty in nature and easily provoked. Later, it comes to light that Shark killed all of the people that Takeo made contact with in their prior missions and that his actions were sanctioned by Krantz. He has been killed and absorbed by Krantz, Hammer, a large, chubby member of Da 5 that always seems to be eating. Although he has violent tendencies similar to sharks, he is logical enough to avoid trouble and can use situations to his advantage, no matter how cowardly it may be. He was later defeated and killed by Salira J. Roeyed. Cerberus Cerberus is the 12th Elder's most powerful military force and personal guard unit. After the Da 5 and Dr. Arith were defeated in Korea, the Twelfth Elder sent Cerberus to investigate the area. Two of them have been killed by Yuri, and the other two by Frankenstein. Equals the Union equals, in CH 166, Frankenstein explains that humans employed various methods to obtain powers like the nobles and their efforts have recently reached a peak. The Union is the oldest and largest organization ever created by humanity. They influence politics, society, culture, everything all over the world. There's nothing they don't influence. The Union moves the world right now. The Union is a secret organization that studies, researches and experiments with live humans in order to obtain more superhuman powers. 
the process of each experiment has been shown to be excruciatingly painful and torturous. The union doesn't have a name and is often called the human organization, or the union interchangeably. The series, so far, has not revealed the top chairman and directors of the union nor how it originated. Elders, the elders are the highest ranking members of the union, with command over the whole organization. Known elders include Dr. Cromble, Zorga Siriana, Erokai Agvain, and Roktis Kravu. The elders revealed so far in the main include the 13th Elder, the 12th Elder, the 11th Elder, the 10th Elder, the 9th Elder, the 8th Elder, the 7th Elder, the 6th Elder, the 5th Elder, the 4th Elder, the 3rd Elder, and the 2nd Elder. There are currently five elders remaining. Dr. Cromble, Dr. Cromble is a cold, cruel, mysterious and ambitious scientist. He is one of the top executive scientists, named 13th Elder in the Union. Thus, he is highly respected and has a large amount of commanding power within the Union. He climbed up to be one of the top executives of the Union through only his genius. Dr. Cromble has been shown to possess some form of superhuman power that may rival Frankenstein's own power. Almost no one is aware of his superhuman power. He has a great interest in experimenting on humans to create more and more powerful beings and would go to any length to progress in his research. Dr. Cromble possesses one of Frankenstein's diaries, which he credits for his quick rise in the Union. However, his current scientific experimentation has gone beyond that which is noted in the diary. In CH 141, after examining M21, Frankenstein acknowledged that Dr. Cromble must have considerable skills in order to carry out such experiments. Cromble then taken a role as one of the new leaders in the Union but his knowledge about Re or Frankenstein was far too little to go on. After the event of Re defeating two former nobles clan leaders, who were elder in the Union, Cromble requested a meeting with Frankenstein delivered by Taco Dr. Arith. Dr. Arith is a red-haired woman who created Dar 5 referring to them as her children. She has a twisted personality. She initially presents herself with an innocent, childlike demeanor, but is immoral when it comes to experimenting on humans. For example, she tells her assistant, Yuri, to get souvenirs. These souvenirs are humans that Dr. Arith will experiment on. Dr. Arith is very demanding and psychotic. After the capture of Frankenstein, Frankenstein attempts to leave but is threatened by Dr. Arith who demands that he withdraw his leg from the door frame and attempts to pull said leg off when he refuses. She becomes maddeningly angry when disobeyed and orders her human machines to eradicate the victim. She is shown to have considerable power. She even has a robot-like nano suit that is quite powerful for fighting. Dr. Arith is initially believed to be Takeo's sister, Tamira, due to their similar hair color and his reaction towards Frankenstein's murderous intent towards her. As it turns out, Dr. Arith fabricated the identity of Tuira for her own enjoyment simply because she was bored with just experimenting all day. While attempting to drain Takeo's life force to escape from Frankenstein, she took the strawberry-flavored pill from Takeo's pocket which is formulated by Frankenstein. However, she collapsed after taking the pill which supposedly should increase her power 200% and shortly afterward was taken away by Yuri. Her current condition was near death, but she resides at one of the Union's base and has been noted that she would need a considerable amount of time to recover, physically and mentally. Yuri, Yuri is Dr. Arith's glasses wearing personal assistant and is seen accompanying her everywhere. He is the one sent to retrieve souvenirs for example human subjects for Dr. Arith's experiments. He is usually shown accompanied by two giant men in black coats who later engage in the fight against Frankenstein and are shown to be powerfully altered robotically enhanced human beings with a short lifespan and whose only capacities are as bodyguard functions. Dr. Arith trusts Yuri. He has superhuman powers demonstrated in use when shielding Dr. Arith and himself from Frankenstein's attacks but ultimately his shield failed under Frankenstein's power. However, Yuri's true alliance is to Dr. Cromble, accompanying Dr. Arith only under Dr. Cromble's orders. Yuri has returned with Cerberus to investigate the destruction of the building that was destroyed in the battle between Frankenstein and Rail. 
later on as Yuri work Dr. Krombel, he was engaged in battle with his two comrades against Regis K. Landegri, M21, Tau and was gaining upper hand because of the hostages they have taken in the school. With help of Rail Kersha, M21 and others were able to gain the antidote to save the children. However, Rail Kersha had to make a delivery to make it in time and because of that Yuri and his accomplices were able to get away. After returning Yuri made a report of the events that happened to Dr. Krombel. He seems to take an a liking to Sahira. Roktas Kravu, Roktas Kravu was the clan leader of Kravu clan and one of the six traitor nobles. During the reign of the previous lord, Roktas along with Zorga and Urokai used to visit Ri more often than other nobles. He was also involved in the conspiracy against Ri that had forced him to withdraw to hibernate in hiding. According to Frankenstein, Roctus was after his life. It is later revealed that Roctus had decided to join the conspiracy to protect his daughter, Eins from being punished by the noblesse for committing atrocity of killing humans. 2. Re had assumed it could be the only reason for his betrayal. Within the Union, he was very close to the Ninth Elder and seemed suspicious of Dr. Cromwell's actions. In an unknown period of time after the betrayal of clan leaders, he had formed contract with the Twelfth Elder. He had also offered himself subject to physical enhancement, making him a modified noble. He is executed by the noblesse. Lunark, she is a werewolf and the only female Union Elder revealed. She seems to have known Muzaka, the previous Lord of the Werewolves, in the past. Erokai Akvain, Sixth Elder in the Union. He used to be noble clan leader before betraying the current lord 500 years earlier by refusing to enter into eternal sleep. It is revealed that he betrayed Razel out of feeling unappreciated and jealousy. Erokai accused Razel of displaying indifference toward those who followed him. Yet he took Frankenstein, a puny mortal, under his wings over other nobles. So Erokai agreed to eliminate his former master to correct him of his wrong path. However, when Razel declared that he respected traitors' deeds because that was their will, even though it was an act of treachery, Razel responded in his usual stoic, tepid manner, which enraged Erokai even more. It can be assumed that at this point, Erokai is also an attention seeker. He is involved in the event that drove Ri into hibernation for 820 years. He is defeated by Ri when Ri wakes up from his short hibernation. Erokai used to have a rivalry with Frankenstein despising the latter and swearing revenge on him when Frankenstein beat him in a duel in the past which resulted in him losing his left eye. He is executed by the noblesse. Zorga Syriana, Zorga Syriana, the previous clan leader of the Syriana clan, is one of the traitors from the aged Lucadonian history. 820 years ago he, alongside the other five clan leaders had betrayed Ri and caused his long slumber. Not only did they try to kill him, but they also somehow used his name during their betrayal 500 years ago, causing Raskriya to believe him to be a traitor as well. According to his own words, he had murdered the previous Loyard clan leader, father of Sayura J. Loyard. He joined as the seventh elder of the Union and after the deaths of Rosia and Maor, he was sent alongside the fifth and eighth elders to declare war against the nobles of Leucadonia. It is revealed that his reason for the betrayal was that his values changed over time and conflicted against that of Lucadonia's nobles. He is executed by the Noblesse. Animation The first animated version of Noblesse has been revealed in the 17th Butchin International Animation Festival. Being an OVA, its screening time was 40 minutes. Animated by Studio Animal the animation will first be released as a DVD from Wong Jin Thang Big Funism on December 4, 2015, and later on in the form of a VOD. Equals cast equals, Cardi's a trauma D. Razel was voiced by Yong Wu Shin, Frankenstein was voiced by Sion Jun Kim, Muzaka was voiced by Han Choi, the previous Lord was voiced by Sang Yun Um, Ashleen was voiced by Yun Ji Kim, Majuk was voiced by An Song Oh. Jejet K. Landegri was voiced by Quang Zhang, Lagos Tradio was voiced by Ji Yuhan Kang, Roktas Kravu was voiced by Hun Suk Yong, Erokai Akvain was voiced by Dong Ha Kim, Zorga Siriana was voiced by Jun Yong Choi. References External links Noblesse Official Website Online Abtoon, 
Noblesse official website on Naver, author Jeho Sun's blog, author Guangsu's blog, Noblesse official fan cafe.